In part B of this experiment, we're going to look at the distribution of a solute between two immiscible solvents. In particular, we're going to be looking at benzoic acid, succinic acid, and sodium benzoate. And we're going to investigate how these three organic solids distribute themselves between water and methylene chloride. And we're gonna start with benzoic acid and we need to transfer 50 milligrams of benzoic acid into a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of benzoic acid is 0 0.0516 grams. I've added our approximately 50 milligrams of benzoic acid to our conical vial. We'll now add two milliliters of methylene chloride and two milliliters of deionized water to our conical vial, and then we'll cap and shake to mix for approximately one minute or until all the solid has dissolved. Now that we've thoroughly mixed our benzoic acid with the two milliliters of water and two milliliters of methylene chloride, we're going to remove the bottom organic layer and transfer to a clean test tube. And then we're going to dry that organic layer with anhydrous sodium sulfate. While we allow our organic layer to continue to dry, we'll pre-weigh a test tube. The mass of our test tube is 7.9774 grams. We'll now transfer our dried methylene chloride solution to our pre-weighed test tube using a filter tip pipette. This will ensure that we leave the drying agent behind. We'll next evaporate off the methylene chloride from our test tube by placing the test tube in a hot water bath and directing a stream of air at the surface of our solvent. We've evaporated off all of the methylene chloride from our test tube, so we'll now determine the mass of our pre-weighed test tube and the solid benzoic acid remaining inside the test tube. This will allow us to determine the amount of benzoic acid that was in our methylene chloride layer. The mass of our pre-weighed test tube and our benzoic acid is 8.0170 grams. We'll now repeat the procedure using succinic acid instead of benzoic acid. And we first need to transfer approximately 50 milligrams of succinic acid to a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of succinic acid is 0 0.0529 grams. We'll now add two milliliters of methylene chloride and two milliliters of deionized water to our five mil conical vial with our succinic acid. We'll now transfer the bottom organic layer of methylene chloride to a new clean test tube and dry the organic layer with anhydrous sodium sulfate. As we wait for the organic layer to dry, we need to pre-weigh a test tube. The mass for our pre-weighed test tube is 8.0035 grams. We'll now transfer our dried organic methylene chloride layer to a new test tube using a filter tip pipette.
We've evaporated all of the methylene chloride from our test tube. So we'll now weigh the test tube to determine the amount of succinic acid that was in our methylene chloride layer. The mass of our test tube and succinic acid is 8.0052 grams. We'll now repeat this procedure one last time using sodium benzoate. We first need to transfer approximately 50 milligrams of sodium benzoate to a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of sodium benzoate is 0.0491 grams. We've transferred our approximately 50 milligrams of sodium benzoate to our five mil conical vial. We'll now add two milliliters of methylene chloride and two milliliters of deionized water to our conical vial and shake to mix for about a minute until all of the sodium benzoate has dissolved. We'll now transfer the bottom organic layer of methylene chloride to a clean test tube and dry the organic layer with anhydrous sodium sulfate. While our organic layer dries, we need to pre-weigh a clean test tube. The mass for our pre-weight test tube is 5.2857 grams. We'll now transfer our dried organic layer of methylene chloride to our pre-weight test tube using a filter tip pipette. We've evaporated off all of the methylene chloride from our pre-weighed test tube. So we'll now weigh our pre-weighed test tube to determine the mass of sodium benzoate that was in our methylene chloride layer. The mass of our pre-weighed test tube and sodium benzoate is 5.2873 grams. You can now determine the amount of each of our three organic compounds in methylene chloride and water and you can also determine their distribution coefficients. This concludes part B of this experiment.